how many guys, if you had to say, if you had to add up in the six years, did you give your okay. real number to? I'm not going to lie. I have given it out a good couple of times. If you are pretty attractive and you seem smart, like you actually have something going on in your head, I might give you my number depending on my mood. So maybe 10, 15 times over six years. Rough estimate. Okay, 10 to 15 times. And out of the 10 to 15 times, how many resulted in a date, in an actual meetup? Two. Two? Two. I would I I want to wait. Say two. Why? Yeah. How? Did, mm-hmm. Why is that conversion so low? <laughs> um. Okay. Like recently, I did give out my phone number, and I gave it out, and he was cute in the store, and he seemed really nice in the store. And then I started texting, and we were. I was just like, I don't. I don't think this is gonna match up. I just don't think we're at two different points in life. He just. The way he was typing wasn't my whoa, style Whoa, okay. Either. I need it's specifics just, here. Will you yeah. pull it up? Do you have it on your phone? Oh, gosh. Yeah, I do have it. I'm on my phone right now. Um, I do have it on my okay. phone. Okay, well, it just is, try to describe it. Yeah, I don't, you know, he was kind of like, I know what I want. And, you know, I'm looking for this type of girl. And I wouldn't have given you my number if, you know, I thought you were a different kind of girl. And I, I just, I was like, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> We don't need to meet okay, up. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Okay, so that's one out of the yeah. 13 who you didn't end up meeting up with. So what happened with some of those right. other guys? Another guy, you know, he was kind of like, hey, let's plan a date. And I was like, hey, dude, I live like an hour away. And he's like, well, I'll drive. It just kind of, it fell off, you know. He was a little bit younger. With him, I feel like I gave him my number kind of more so out of like, this is awkward. Let me just give you my number. You come in all the time. Like, not pity, but just... Yeah, like I see you all the time. I'll give you my number. But in reality, was I actually going to go on a date with him? Probably not. How old not. was he? Uh, 22, 21. He was a little bit younger than me. And I usually don't do that. I usually don't do that. Okay. I have a question, but I want to. I don't want to get too far off of the topic. So I want to kind of come back to it. But I also don't want to forget it. So real quick, how? what is your ideal age of man to, to date right now? I would say 25 to 30. I feel like. Okay. Okay, yeah. 25 to 30. That makes sense. Women mostly are going for older men. Okay, so okay, so I guess out of all these guys, either they lived far or it fell off or what else? What other what other what why else would it fall off in the texting phase? It's just if the vibe isn't there, if it's just not there. And then also, I mean, a lot of times these guys who I've given my number to, I'll be like, "Oh, what is your job?" and it might just not resonate with something that I want for be my more future. specific so this I'm is like, good this is good uh information here yeah okay um I mean you know one guy didn't didn't go to college and there's no harm in that you know you can make a lot of money not going to college nowadays honestly but he didn't ha- really have a good job to back it up either so what did I was he like, do well, this what, isn't what was going- his job what I don't remember what he did. I just remember like sales, like car sales or something like that. And I was like, "This just—it's not." Well, that going could be that could be a very me. lucrative, a lucrative profession. Yes, yes, but I knew where he worked, and and it was not a lucrative dealership. Okay. So, uh, what are, what are some other jobs where you've where you've learned what they did and you said no to it? You're like, oh, I don't want to be with this person. That's a really hard what did you question, say? Well, you just actually. said, I feel like there was a couple of examples there where you find out. Yeah, I mean, there was one guy, he came in and he just did construction. I want to say he did, I don't know, specific, stucco, that sounds right. I think stucco. Okay. And I was like, I just don't, you know, that's not really my vibe either. You know, you can make good money from construction, but. So it's, no, I, I know, I know it, it is. Really so it's, it's not yeah. just the money, it's the status. It's the status around the job. Yeah, For yeah. example, and I, I mean Probably. no disrespect to any men out there who are listening who work in, in, in the waste management, but if you're making, let's say, $250,000 per year, just as an example, but they're, but they're a garbage man, would you be with that guy? Honest answer. Um, good guy, smart, pretty good answer. looking too. But makes quarter million a okay. year, but he's he's a garbage man. Okay. 
Honestly, if he treated me really, really well and he checked off everything <laughs> on the list and he was making 250 a year, I would You would consider it. Yeah. it? That's hilarious. Would she would consider, consider it, guys. She would consider it with all of yeah. the boxes yeah. checked. Mm-hmm. But fifty thousand a year and you know waste management and didn't check the box. It's just not happening. No. Now the two guys that ended up, you ended up on a date with. Oh my god. What, what happened with those guys? What what? Why did those guys make the cut? Honestly, because I was younger and I was a little bit more. I just didn't have the boundaries that I have now. I would say. And, you know, I wasn't as specific and I wasn't as, okay, you need to meet these standards. So like one guy, I went out with him and at Hooters, he, he was really nice and he was a really nice guy when we went out. But I didn't notice his bottom teeth were a little messed up at Hooters. And then we go on this date and we get there and he smiles and I was like, nope, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I was nice. I stayed for the remainder of the date, but he could tell I wasn't. I was not into it. He could. Okay, talk. hold could on. Talk. So, <laughs> so first of all, I love your honesty. This is so interesting. So you go on a date with this guy, and you see his lower teeth, and they're crooked. Mm-hmm. So yep. in your head, you're out. That's it for you. You're out. Yep, I'm out. I'm out. There, you know, people have their things. I am a big teeth person. If you, I mean, I had braces for six you're not years. A, you're not just a so, teeth person, though. You're an everything person. You want the teeth. You want the status. I'm you want the everything. good looks. Yeah. He's probably how tall does yeah. he have to be? Um, I used to have a six foot rule, and like the pilot that I dated was maybe like five eight. So it's like. You know, I'll definitely. I talked to a guy who's five eleven. I've talked to like five ten. So I would, I would say, when I do five eight again, probably not. So let's say five ten to like six foot. Okay. That range. Okay. How tall yeah. are you? Five four. Five four. Okay, so you're about average height. Yeah, but I like wearing heels, and you know, I like being little. I'm a little on. surprised, actually. I'm actually very surprised that you just threw a curveball there, because most women are, are six feet or bust. And and you, and and over here, you're saying you looked at his bottom crooked teeth, but you're okay with I I, I would even say you'd probably do five nine. I bet you would do five nine. I probably that's interesting would to if me. You yeah, if you checked a lot of you got to check a lot of boxes for that. Oh one man, <laughs> it's just wow. It's just yeah. yeah. It's it, it's the it is the uh, the balance of all these boxes that need to be checked again. Yeah. Remember yeah. that as you get older, if you don't find a guy, as and it's funny because what happens when women get older, their boxes increase. So they have more boxes that need to be checked. And what's funny is mm-hmm. they become someone who is checking less boxes for the guy because of sexual market value. Right. Right. I know. That's yeah. scary. But, that no, I, but you did say, and, and I'll give it to you, that you are looking for a guy right now but i I gotta say you're picky as shit you think so absolutely i don't know absolutely for sure i think i think you can afford to be today i think you can okay you know i think a lot of guys would want to date a girl who looks like you be in a relationship um so i think you can afford that but I also think that it is, I mean, really, really tiny. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think the pickiness comes from I've dated so many horrible men that I was like, you know what? If you do not meet 100% of the boxes, I don't even want to do it anymore. So maybe maybe it's come from that. Could be. Just, just almost like a trauma of, you know what? Don't even want to do it. I think it. that's part of it. I have a theory okay. of a reason, a bigger reason, um, or, or a more okay. uh, a deeper reason, is that I think that you see how many options you have. You um, see how many options yeah. you have. So you yeah. believe that you can have the guy and it will okay. be no problem 
to get the guy who will check mm. all those boxes just because you're in you're you're in abundance right you're in abundance so yeah. it's like yeah all these guys coming at you in all different angles so you know and you know inherently that you can have a guy that might check all those boxes be, you know let, let's imagine that wasn't happening let's imagine you're a guy for example where he has literally zero like girls not hitting him up on his instagram talking to him approaching him so guys are almost default in scarcity mode where a okay. woman okay is default generally speaking in an abundance mode okay where they have or they know they have more options because they don't have to be the one to make the move so i don't know that's that's my thought of why you're you are so picky or why women by the way most women are picky especially when they're when they're even younger i mean honestly that that is a really really good theory i i actually do see some truth to that now that you've started saying that because you know i've been asked on a date by you know you know maybe just the joe schmo on the street and i'm like why would i go on a date with him when there's someone else who you know, maybe it's a little bit better or a little bit more my type or so maybe, maybe that actually does have a lot of validity to it. Something to think about too for you, because you don't want to get caught up in the paradox of choice. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Just kind of like, there's always going to be options. And so then you end up like never settling kind of thing, yeah. not settling, not but choosing getting with someone. There's so much yeah. choice. Yeah. That, that, you, that you can't choose and you never choose. That is scary. And now you're 33 years old. And no guy cares that you have a degree. They want mm -hmm. the girl who's your age right now and and not as jaded probably, you know. I've honestly thought about that. I have thought about that. I'm like, what happens if I get to 35 and I've never found that person and I've just wasted all of my options? That has definitely run through my head. <laughs> all right, second guy. What happened with him? Um, you know, just wasn't, just was not, not really feeling it. We went on a date. He was sweet. He was a lot older than I was at the time. And then this gets weird though. He sent me a picture, um, an explicit picture after our date. And I was like, I'm good. You're done. I'm So he I'm goes out. on a date with, he I'm sends out. you a picture of his pee pee. Yeah. That is not the way to my heart. I will tell you what, do not send me a dick pic. Please So don't. interesting. How did the date go? It was fine. Um, there wasn't that immediate click that I felt with some people. Because, you know, you go on a date with some people and you're like, wow, that was great. It was a little bit slower and just a little bit, you know, more just whatever. It probably wasn't going to go anywhere. But then as soon as you send me a picture like that, I mean, that was the nail in the coffin. That's so funny. Right he thought yeah. he would He thought <laughs> yeah. he would bump up his chances with a, uh, yep. with a dick pic. No. No, that did not work. Did it's so funny, work. too, because I always thought that the dick pic was usually what guys send when they haven't met the girl yet. The just, super unsolicited. Yeah, like, no. Yeah, no, I don't want any unsolicited dick pics. You know what I mean? Like, if we're dating and, you know, we're having a little fun time texting, sure, not a problem. But when we haven't even started, like, dating yet and I don't really know you, I don't want to see it. Ben. I don't. Yeah. Maybe he just didn't like you and he thought, yeah, let me just see what happens. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. He was like, you know what? Let me just shoot my shot. Like, what's the worst? Maybe. Are you on online dating? I am. I am. I'm on like Hinge and Bumble, but I really just use Hinge. Okay. How's it going? Mm, it's not that good, honestly. Like, I usually tend to talk to guys more if they hit me up on Instagram. So maybe that's, you know, that's a good way to message me. But then honestly, I feel like the guys who message me on Instagram, they don't really want to get to know me for me. They just see pretty pictures and they're like, let's just go to dinner. Isn't that hinge it's though too? Not, it's a, you know. Yeah, it is. It's all of it. So it really is kind of like a, okay, is this working? I don't think it's working. I don't know. Right. Okay. So, well, that's interesting. So you do look in your request folder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. For options of guys. So you, you basically are using Instagram as a dating app. I mean, you know what? If a cute guy hits me up on Instagram, like I will notice it. I will but see it. But you won't know what they and do for a reply, living. 
I'll do some creeping. I will do some creeping for sure. I'll go down their profile, try to figure them out. You know what I mean? LinkedIn stock. If I don't reply, there's a reason. There you go. See? Okay. Got it. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. So Instagram. So Instagram has been more fruitful than Hinge for you. Yes. Yes. Or what happens is maybe Hinge will transfer to Instagram. So I don't reply to a guy on Hinge. He goes on Instagram, hits me up, and then I might reply on there. Yeah, it's interesting. You have to have a really good Instagram as a guy to get to get yes. that response. Assuming that yes, the women are even do. going in their request, hidden request folder to see it. And then at that point, you got to have a good profile because I'm sure you're looking at a I'm, – I'm guessing you're looking at a lot of those pictures – before you're yes. responding. Yeah, I will not respond. And like another thing I won't respond to is if you're following 2,000 people and then you only have like 500 followers. I'm like, I'm not I'm not responding to people. Oh, like that's that. interesting. You look at that ratio. Why is that? Yeah. Um, I feel like a lot of times I've noticed that whenever a guy is following maybe 2,000 people and 500 followers, he's following mostly girls. He's not looking for anything serious. He's not really looking for that commitment or that future. He's just looking for... What girl can I kind of hit up to? How do you, with all of the options that you have through Hooters and Hinge and Instagram, and I'm sure you get approached on the street too. It depends. If I wear if you makeup. makeup. Okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah. So how do you how do you choose for the guy to be a guy you'd go on a date with? Yeah. Um, I would kind of look at how they speak, how they dress how they act, what their demeanor is. If I don't know what they do, I look at all of those things and it kind of gives me an idea of who they are as a person. So if you come up to me and you are just not talking to me well or I just won't, it's just not my vibe. I just, I wouldn't think we'd get along so I wouldn't even choose you from there. Interesting. I think it's interesting that most of the things you said there was, was in the behavior category. How how the, how they act? Of course, you're definitely looking at what they look like, but you 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 only mention that briefly to everything else, which is what I try to tell guys on the podcast here is is that yeah, of course you have to be a you know a, a decent looking guy and decently dressed, but your behavior can go so much further to yes. be able to really get a, yes. a woman interested. Well, let's say this. Let's say you met a guy, hypothetically, that was your perfect uh, 10 in terms of looks, but he was really shy or not very confident. Would you go for that guy? Um, Shy guys, yes. I do. I am totally okay with going for a shy guy. Lack of confidence, not really my thing. And something that I've learned, I mean, I'm only 23. I don't have a ton of experience, but something that I have learned from dating you know, the guys who don't have confidence, they don't like me posting pictures like that on Instagram. They don't handle attention well. And that's just something that I'm getting. So if you if you don't have confidence, you know, it just might not work out for us. No hate, it just might not work out. Interesting. I yeah. wonder how many guys would be okay with your Instagram. Probably not that many. I definitely think it takes a special person to be able to handle having a woman who is confident in herself, who posts whatever she wants. I, I really do think it takes a special person.